I'd like to introduce you to a virtually ideal all-purpose black and white negative developer. Pyrogallic acid formula ABC also I think known as Kodak 622 formula. All pyrogallic acid you can just call it pyro based formulas are good. Myself I have tried quite a few over many years. However this formula that is ABC is by far hands down completely uncontested the best of all of the bunch. A little about Pyro first. It is one of the earliest negative developers with beginnings around 1802. The active ingredient is an extract from the Japanese gall nut and really has no other known industrial applications so that's why Pyro is relatively expensive. Pyro not only develops but stains the negative so when you look at a pyro based negative it will tend to be from a forest green color all the way to a chocolate brown depending upon what type of film was used no color is better than another however the ability to stain the gelatin improves film sharpness by covering grain and adds to the film contrast because the amount of stain is proportional to the amount of silver reduced. Pyro-based formulas are well known for their very strong edge effects. And that's making a very fine tonal differences, acuitance, uh, throughout the palette of tonalities. And also excels in separating and preserving very high emulsion values much higher than any paper can print. For more general information I refer you to a book called The Book of Pyro by Gordon Hutchings which is an outstanding read even if you don't use his PMK formula. By far the most popular pyro developing formula is Hutchings PMK although the ABC formula is far superior in several ways. Most importantly, ABC is able to expand or be pushed by at least one and a half stops depending upon your film choice. PMK gives you much softer results and only increases in film fog, thus actually reducing contrast, when you begin to extend development. I think this is really important. I want as a photographer high contrast developers which can be pushed even more so when I need them to be. If you print on pop or albumin you know exactly what I mean and you really don't have any choice. ABC is the perfect developer for those mediums while PMK is definitely without a doubt too soft. There are some who use a double bath system to increase contrast with their PMK. Well, I think that's just silly. Why would you go through all of those extra steps when there's something much simpler to use? Also, with ABC, you can film inspect your negatives as you develop. If you're going to push your film, you want to know by how much, right? Well, you can see see the results when you film inspect with ABC. More about that later. Also I find ABC gives me very even results in even value areas. Skies for instance can be rendered evenly in ABC as the formula is not so technique sensitive in its agitation. Also iron spots the negative in PMK it does not do so in ABC. Remember, I develop in iron trays. PMK has one advantage over ABC, however. It uses less pyro in its formula, so it's quite a bit cheaper to make. I'm not treading lightly here. I am fully aware there are many well-known photographers who swear by PMK. Fine. 
PMK can produce very fine results. There is no debate about that. However, there is simply also no debate over the advantages I have talked about with ABC.